a student at Media Arts Collaborative Charter School. Uh, this is my first time doing NetLogo and Supercomputing, uh, but here's my project, to think of Battleship. So I'm sure all of you have played the game Battleship before. Uh, so for my project, I wanted to see uh, the fastest way to every single boat in the game Battleship. And I did this by creating an 11 by 11 world. Uh, so we're wrapping off and using only four of the boats instead of five. I didn't want to use three of them, or I didn't want to use all of them because uh, there's two three boats and I felt that would uh, affect my results negatively. So the way it works is I have five different patterns uh, that would shoot and whenever they hit a boat, they will search around that area for a boat. Uh, and once it finishes this off, it will just keep going in that pattern until it finds another boat and it'll just continue. So the way that pattern works is I use skip patterns, which essentially, uh, for an example, this is the one skip pattern here. It shoots a little area and it skips one and then it shoots an area and it goes so on and so forth. And it looks like a checkerboard when it's most of the way done. Um, you can see here, it looks like that for a three shot or for the three skip pattern, uh, one, two, three skip, and then it fires, one, two, three, and then it fires. And that's how it is for pretty much all of them. Uh, for random, of course, it just picks a random spot. And if there's nothing there, it'll pick another random spot and it'll just keep doing that until it hits a boat. Uh, the way I wanted to do these patterns when I uh, made the code, I originally wanted to do it in a way uh, that I use math. I try to use like module uh, to get all of these search patterns made uh, mathematically through just one line of code. However, sadly, I couldn't get that to work uh, despite my many efforts. So instead I moved on and I created a system that uses a number pad where I put in all the coordinates myself and then the program will take that list of coordinates and it'll put it into the program and use that to select the shots. Um, and that is how I did my shot patterns. All right, so next thing I had to do for this uh, was making the boats. For the boats, all it would do is it would select a, uh, a select area and from that area, it would check in uh, either the right or the top direction, and it would see if it was empty. If it was empty, it would check the next location. If that was empty, it would check the location above, so on and so forth, until uh, it realized all of them were clear, where it would then color them all in. And then after it's all colored in, it would go on to the next boat. So for this, I originally had world wrapping off uh, or on, and it would do something like this, which I didn't like because it will, that you can't do that in Battleship. That's, that's not a legal move. So the issue with that, however, is once I turn bull wrapping off, is every time it would try to wrap like this, it would try to read a patch that didn't exist, like one right here, and it would give me a nobody. And despite trying uh, different lines of code, that would be like, if it returns a nobody, do this. Uh, none of those ever worked. So I spent quite a long time on this, trying to figure out how to, how to easily fix it. And what I came up with was by making a border around the world, which is why it's an 11 by 11, instead of a 10 by 10 world. And from there, it was able to work perfectly because it would just read a green dot instead of an actual black, uh, instead of a nobody. So the actual results of this were a little bit disappointing. Uh, all it really did, or all the scores were so similar. So I use uh, the skip one pattern as my, uh, my base. And from there, all of them fell within the first standard deviation. So there was no statistical difference. Even the random shot was not significant enough to really matter all that much in terms of uh, how fast it, it actually hit every single boat. However, because I did monitor which boats were getting hit uh, in which order, I was able to see that uh, for this next slide, the order of which the boats were hit uh, very greatly by which uh, pattern I use. For example, the one skip pattern would find the two boat uh, much more often than any of the other patterns and vice versa. The four skip pattern would find the five boat much more often here than it did for uh, any of the other boats. And this continues for all the other patterns, except for random, of course, uh, with the four boat, uh, with the three skip pattern finding the four boat extremely often and a two skip pattern finding the three boat very often as well. Uh, and so that's that. Uh, let me show the actual code real quick. So uh, this is the actual code. Uh, you have your patterns here, uh, the random search, the one skip pattern, so on and so forth. And once you do that, you click set up and you just have to click go. And then once it hits a boat, it'll fill it out and then keep going on. Uh, it counts the shot numbers. As you see here, it's marking which boats were actually hit first. And then once it hits all of them, 
it stops. So that is it. Uh, does anyone have any questions about the presentation? Judges? Very cool. Um, does it take, I, I missed in the description of the, the skip patterns, if you hit get a hit, does it search in that area or does it just keep with an existing oh. pattern? The way it does is it does neighbors four. So if it hits here, it'll search here, 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 and okay. here. And sure. then it'll just loop itself whenever it hits that location until it finishes off the boat. And then from there, it'll just keep doing the pattern, skipping the spots that's already hit from that search. Mm -hmm. and, and have you looked on, uh, on online for uh, other types of algorithm approaches? Uh, not algorithm. Uh, not algorithm approaches. My original idea was I wanted to look at this from the real world, but that didn't really go anywhere because the way my patterns were, uh, they didn't really coincide with any realistic way to search for things. But I did look up like ways like uh, the real Navy or like search and rescue people would search. And, oh, no. I, yeah, yeah. Or, I mean, more on um, people trying to solve battleship itself. But no, a, I didn't really see anything like that. I didn't do too much research into it, but I didn't see much when I did. Uh -huh. And a lot of times it's good to try it yourself before you get infected by others' ideas and then, and yeah. then go research. So I think it's good to do what you did here. Uh, but, but yeah, but there are some, there's some, at some point, now that there are some, a lot, there's a lot of research on this one uh, because it's a night, you really picked a good, um, a good toy problem. Any other questions? Judges, anyone else? Yeah, this is Dave Janicki. So you talked about the, the skip problem. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about how you define uh, some of the other uh, approaches? Uh, what do you mean by other approaches? Well, like the you, other patterns? Yes, yes. Okay, well, all the patterns really just follow the same formula. I didn't really, I didn't add in any other ways besides just like these patterns because, well, uh, when I try to add in like the ones from the real world, uh, they would break because while mine can hop from point A to point B, there's how to actually stick with a set track. So I wasn't able to add any of those in. But if you look at like the, uh, just like the four skip pattern, you can see it goes, oops. It goes like this. Wait, that's not right. It goes like this and it'll go in diagonals and they'll hit the boats. They'll still do the, when it hits the boat, it'll search around thing, but they'll move pretty much just with different gaps in between and then stop whenever they hit their boats. So I can show off like two one as well here. That's, I have to hit set up. Uh, moves like this until it hits something. And then I'll finish it off. And then I guess random as well. Randomly searches around until it hits a boat, in which case it'll finish it with the uh, neighbor four thing. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much, Tyler. Okay, thank you for your time. Cool.